Hello? So let's look at a problem. The two masses, M1 and M2, they're connected by a cord and then hand uh, on a pulley. So we know the both masses. The question asking for the acceleration of the M1 and M2 system and also the tension in the connecting cord. So we know the both mass, uh, they're connected. So they're moving uh, moving at the same velocity and same acceleration. So because the mass two is more is bigger, so obviously the mass two is gonna move down with acceleration A, and the M1 is gonna move up with the same acceleration A. Uh, that's, to solve this problem, the first step is always try to analyze the forces acting on each of the mass. So let's draw a free body diagram of M1 first. So first of all, there's the gravity, so uh, Fg1 equals M1g. And also there's a tension force pulling the M1 up. Remember, remember tension force always, is always pulling. So that's M1. Okay, we also label the acceleration and up for M2. So also same thing, we have gravity, Fg2 equals M2g, and also the tension is pulling it up as well, same reason, it's pulling. And then the acceleration is going down. Okay, that's first step. You understand how many forces acting on them, and what's the direction, and then you understand the both of them get uh, is going to be accelerated, and then you also understand the direction of the acceleration. So now we apply the Newton's second law to each of the mass uh, for m1. So obviously, because acceleration is going up, so the tension force T must be greater than the mg1, fg1. So we use tension T minus fg1. That's the net force acting on M1, so it equals M1 times the acceleration. For the second mass, M2, obviously uh, the acceleration is going down, so we must have a net force going down as well. So Fg2 uh, subtract the T. Fg2 subtract the T is going to be the net force acting on the M2, so it equals M2A. So you can tell both equations actually come from Newton's second law, F net equals ma. And the net force must be uh, the force you added up acting on uh, the individual mass. Okay, now since you have these two equations, you know, you can uh, just apply your math skill to solve them. So we change the, uh, we label these two equations. Now before we label that, we can simplify uh, plug in the Fg1, Fgt. So we use T minus M1g equals M1a, and then use M2g minus T equals M2a. Okay, so you got a two equation and a two variable, A and a T. So use your math skill to solve this system of equations. So I would like to always do one plus two in this kind of case. So then you can see the left side, add the left side. So you cancel the T, you got M2G minus M1G. And then you add the right side to the right side and then factor the A out. You get M1 plus M2. An interesting thing also you can tell from here, this is actually the net force acting on the system, on the M1 plus M2 system. And of course M1 plus M2 is the mass of the system. 
So now if you relook at the equation, it looks like uh, a system version of Newton's second law, right? Net force equals MA. Okay, so then we can isolate as A. A is going to be M2 G minus M1 G divided by M1 plus M2. And if you plug in, you should get 2 times 9.8 minus 1 times 9.8 and divide by 2 plus 1. Okay? And this one should equal 3.27 meter per second squared. And then plug in, plug in the A uh, to any of this equation, one or two, whichever you like. So let's uh, plug in A in equation one. So you can definitely solve the, it should equal M1 a plus g equals 1.0 uh, 3.27 plus 9.8 equals and equals 13.1 newton okay that's the answer done